Well, you wanted anime content, and I'm here to bring it to you. Up, Woody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and via the weekly Oricon rankings, you already got one method to my madness, aka how I um, uh, find manga for this channel. Well, I figured, you know what, you guys want anime content, and I need to give you guys the OG method for, uh, for how I find manga, so why not give you guys some... Uh, some anime uh, guides here for the spring 2022 anime season and not make them extremely long. So we're going to maybe just do them one at a time and we're going to start off with Ao Ashi. But before I get to that, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos and mm, getting faster by the second. We're talking panic attack, migraine just in half the speed levels of struggle up in here. Seriously, I'm struggling to keep a roof over my head. It is that bad. But, but, but if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kick in, feel free to hit up my Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below as well as the link Links to the live chart and um, my anime list links I will be using in today's video. So originally I was just going to have a long ass video with all of the series that I cover um, that are getting adaptations for the season and I was like, you know what? probably would be easier if I just did separate videos for each one and what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to um, give a little bit of background for Ao Ashi, and then of course you know the um, when it's coming out, and then I'm going to get into um, who is the director, the character designer, and all of that stuff, and not just that, but what series they've worked on, and give my thoughts on it, and why. Especially based on the trailer I saw last night, why I'm probably gonna cover it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get to this. So, actually, it was because I saw that Ao Ashi was getting an anime adaptation, was why I finally bit the bullet and just finally read it because I was planning on reading it for a minute. And I really love Ao Ashi, the manga is so good. I'm glad IG Productions picked it up. Um, the series is uh, coming out on April 9th at 2.25 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hate that it's coming out at like 2.25 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It really stinks. Um, it is a soccer series. So if you don't like sports, you might not like it. But be open-minded. Seriously. I don't watch soccer on the regular, but I love soccer manga. <laughs> Um, I cover, um, how many soccer series do I cover now? I cover like three. I cover Captain Tsubasa, um, Rising Sun, I cover uh, Aoashi, and I cover Blue Lock. And I love them. But anyways, so, <sighs> okay. I'll read what, I'll read the synopsis for it, screw it. I'll take you to the world. Uh, Ashido Aoi is a middle schooler who lives in Ahime and the ace of an unremarkable uh, so soccer club. The day that they lost the final tournament of uh, middle school, Ashido runs along the ocean in frustration um, before running into a man who had been watching his game. That man is Tatsuya Fukuda, the coach of the high school aged um, youth team of a leading J League Tokyo City Asperion uh, football club. After seeking immense potential, and Ashido still unrefined skills he describes um his ambition i want to build a team and use it to take over the world our club isn't going to be a, um a milestone for players who take on the world our club is going to be the world doesn't it sound like blue lock in a way <laughs> and to make this happen i'm going to need some aces to train after hearing uh fukuda's offer shida decides to head to tokyo uh and to try out for his team it's similar to Blue Lock in some ways, but it's different. And I've talked about this manga in my Blue Lock live reactions. So if you haven't read this manga, I really recommend it. It is very, very good. But man, the trailer, if you have not seen it, is fantastic. That's Again, this is why I am making this video and probably why I'm going to be making videos for, um, for other uh, manga to anime adaptations that are coming out uh, for this season. 
But anyways, let's get to get to the staff here. I don't need to mention the other series that IG Productions have, have done. You guys should know what they have done. They've done some really good series like um, like Fina Pirate Princess, various, you know, uh, Fooly Cooly series. I love Fooly Cooly. Fooly Cooly is good. But anyways, so the director is going to be um, Akira Sato. And Akira Sato has uh, worked on Soul Eater um, for key animation for a few episodes of, of Soul Eater. Uh, they've um, done uh, um, directing for uh, Dem in Wonderland. Um, let's see, what's the other one that they did that I want to mention? Um, they worked on, um, dang it. Give me a sec. They worked on the key animation for Fate's Grand Order First Order. They worked on the key animation for Naruto uh, Shippuden Movie 3. They worked on, um, uh, as the character design um, assistant, the animation director uh, for at least an episode, the key animation for an episode, and key animation for a few episodes, and assistant uh, animation for, director for an episode of uh, Michiko to, ha uh, to Hachim, which is freaking good series if you haven't watched it. Um, they worked as the um, uh, key animation for uh, Dem in Wonderland. Um, where is the other one I need to mention here? I'm doing this on the fly. So you gotta excuse me. Um, there's another series I know I need to mention. I think that's it, right? Yeah. So he's worked on a lot of good stuff up in here over the years. Okay, so now we need to get to the script. Yes, we are getting to the series composition, which is going to be done by um, Mashiro uh, Yokotani. And woo! So for me, what um, and this was my philosophy before um, before I got spoiled by the manga Renaissance, the in the manga Golden Age, and. You know what? To an extent, it still is. Is that what makes or breaks a manga to anime adaptation is the writing, because if, it, if it's not following the manga, then it's not a manga to anime adaptation. It's an interpretation. So it's very important to me. Anyways, um, so Mashiro Yokotani um wrote the scripts for um various episodes of Steingate, um, for, uh, he, they were the script, they wrote the script and was, the, were the, um, series composition for multiple seasons of ReZero, I think for all the seasons of ReZero, if I'm correct, yes, they, um, were the series composition, um, and script writer for, um, for Magi, uh, The Labyrinth of Magic, and The Kingdom of Magic, and they were they worked on the screenplay for Kaon. Um, they were um, the series composition. They worked they were in charge of the series composition and script for Beelzebub. Uh, they were in charge of the script. They worked on the script and were in charge of the series composition for uh, Free Eternal Summer. I already mentioned Free Zero. Um, wait, is that a quick? No, I don't want to mention that one. There was another series I know I need to mention. Dang it, where are you? I mentioned Beelzebub. There's another series I know I need to mention. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Those are the main series, of course, I have to mention. That really makes me happy. It does, because I know ReZero script is really good, especially... And, um, and, uh, Steins Gate is very, very good from what I remember. Magi, I'm, I don't remember it off the top of my head. I, Magi, I know has some, if I remember correctly, uh, Magi's, um, anime adaptation does have some filler, but people like it. So do your thing, Magi. Anyways, uh, let's see. Now we're going to get to 
the um, the character design because that's very important to me. And where's the other one? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I got a min. You know what? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna get to the art director because that's the most important to me. The art director is very important. So the art director, um, Yusuke Takeda, uh, Takeda, was the art director for Vinland Saga, for uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, for Sword Art Online Seasons 1 and 2, for, um, for let's see, uh, Neon uh, Genesis Evangelion, the end of Evangelion, they, they did the background art for there, for, for both, um, for all of uh, Evangelion, they did uh, the background art. I should mention that. Um, let's see. For uh, Vivi Fluoride Eyes Song, they were the art director. Um, they are one of the art directors for Chainsaw Man. I'm very hyped for this because we are getting get some insight on what Chainsaw Man's gonna look like. Um, they are they were the art director for Dimension W, which art, Dimension W's art was gorgeous. Um, they were the art director for Skip Beat. I love Skip Beat. Um, they were, let's see, they were the art director for um, the Berserk movie that came out in 2012. They were the art director for Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Um, they were the, um, where's the other one? I know there is another one here that I need to mention, which is very important. No, not that one. Um, oh, they were the art director for Dot Hack slash Quantum. The Dot Hack slash, um, double slash series are freaking amazing. They were, um, the, in charge of the in-between animation for, um, Batman Gotham Knight. Let's see. They were the art director for Leighton, um, Kyoju. Uh, they, oh, there it is. They were the art director for Slayers, the motion picture. Um, they were the, um, where are you? There's another one here that I need to mention. They did, they did a lot of background art in the 90s. So that, that means a lot. Um, they were the art director for Star Fox Zero, The Battle Begins, which came out in 2016. Um, they were uh, the art director for the Cyborg um, 009 animes. Um, they were, I think that's the last thing I need to mention, right? Yes. Yes, I believe that is it. That right there, and also, yeah, they did backgrounds for Tenshi uh, Muyo as well. That makes me happy that this is, that this is who the art director is. That makes me very, very happy. I'm very, very pleased with this. Very, very, very pleased with this. There's a couple um, chief animation design uh, or chief animation directors uh, that I'm very pleased to see. Um, I, I feel like I got to mention what they've done um, because the animation has been is very important. I, again, I've been very spoiled by the manga renaissance. I really have. Um, let's see. Do I need to mention the color design here? No. Okay. The um, first one being, do I need to mention this one? No, I don't need to mention this one. The one I definitely that's very noticeable for me is uh, Asuka uh, Yamaguchi, who worked on um, uh, some key animation for um, Attack on Titan season two, um, for the first season of Haikyuu, for for an episode of for. Not just season one. For seasons one and two of Haikyuu, they worked on some episodes, or they were the animation director. Um, they were the animation director for an episode of um, Kroko no Basket, season two, uh, seasons two and three, for a few, for a few episodes of, of uh, season three. Um, they were in, um, the anima uh, in charge of the key animation for episode three. Um, let's see, is there anything else that's notable here that I need to mention? I think that's it. Oh, they were the animation director of an episode of Fully Coolly Progressive as well. I think that is the main thing here. Yes. Yes. 
this really makes me happy in terms of production because production is what matters to me the most in terms in terms of uh manga and anime adaptations more than anything else right now voice acting the seiryu come like well yeah the seiryu are important as well and from what i heard with them um, in the trailer the voice acting sounds fantastic i'm very pleased with the voice acting very very pleased especially with the uh, um with the uh, um Osuzu, uh, Koki Osuzu, um, as a Shido, he sounds perfect. Very, very pleased. The main thing that I'm just a little bit concerned about in terms of the character designs is, this has been my problem, is the hair. Especially with, with AOI. He has a fro, okay? He's got a fro. I can't have hair helmet realness. When there's froze involved, you can't have hair helmets. You need to give him like more lines so he has curls. Because I have a, trust me, I, when my hair is not burned, I have a Jufro. Or if there's no product in my hair, I have a Jufro. So I know what it's like. Well, I have waves, right? It's more like waves What? because my hair is long right now. But when my hair is short, I have a Jufro. So I know what it's like to, and I know what period what it's like to have curly hair. So seriously, please, please, please just give my boy texture. The other thing that I'm very worried about here in terms of character design, I need to get a close up of Akutsu. I'm worried about Akutsu's design. Akutsu's design is too slim. Akutsu in the manga is very ripped. And I, I was worried about when I saw it in the trailer, I'm like, Akutsu not looking very buff like he should. This is a huge problem. Akutsu, again, Akutsu is very, very swole. Please fix it. I'm very, very concerned that Akutsu is not going to be ripped enough for this. Because that's, that's been another one of my main problems with, an, um, with anime, is that the body types, and I've seen it in Hitman um, by uh, Siyokoji, why the anime industry is doing this. It's because they want to appeal to a wider audience, they want to appeal to girls and shit. No, girls like muscles. Women like muscles. We don't want slim boys. Give us muscles. Akutsu has fucking muscles. He is swole. Give me the muscles. Akutsu, you have muscles. You are ripped in your torso and your arms are ripped as fuck. Do not give me skinny Akutsu like this. It's my main problem is that I think that's my main problem is Akutsu is way too slender. It's way too slender for this. I think the rest of them, if I remember correctly, look okay. There was one other one that I was worried about in terms of the hair. That's right. Tagashi. Tagashi was looking a little slender as well. Tagashi is another one that's supposed to be very muscular. Not as muscular as Akutsu, but he's supposed to be muscular. And... Um, Tagashi is supposed to give you that Kuwabara realness in the hair. The face looks great. The faces I'm not having problems with. It's the bodies that are looking too slender. Why are you doing that to them? I'm not happy with the... That's the only problem I'm having with these character designs is that just Akutsu and Tagashi are looking way too slender. I'm not... Especially Akutsu. Akutsu looks way too slender. And also, uh, Tagashi's hair is just not giving me the volume that it needs to have. And also, AOI's hair needs some line work get, to give that emphasis in the curls. Other than that, I'm very happy. I'm very excited for, I'm, for overall, I'm excited for this um, adaptation um, in terms of the, um, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the writing, in terms of the directing. I'm very happy. But goddamn, and also the Sarah, you sound great. But goddamn, I'm just the only, again the only thing I'm worried about is a couple of the character designs just get, are very concerning. I really hope it gets fixed. Please fix it, please. Please fix it, please. Anyways, I do want to. I I do. I think I'm going to cover Aowashi. That's the. That's the only one so far out of all the series that I've seen, especially trailer-wise, that I feel like I gotta cover. 
there might be some other there might be some spotlight series I might do video wise but Aowashi was the one that I immediately felt after watching that trailer last night I had to I had to do a video on I probably am gonna have to do a video on I will probably do um uh, a video on uh spy family and I will probably do a video on um Tamadachi game and you know what I probably gotta just do one on Tamadachi game uh, spy family and summertime rendering there will probably be videos out for those next so stay tuned let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdigans inc if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more manga and anime content new ways you can do that donate to my cash app paypal patreon purchase something off my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also, make sure you follow me on 2020. Um, oh my god! Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, nerdigans. I will be seeing you later.